Assalamu alaikum everyone, we're doing good inshallah. As you know, I've been very excited today about this fight between Khabib and Conor McGregor. And uh, it's crazy. <laughs> we were up all night yesterday. I couldn't sleep and I just and I wanted to show you, you know, why. Because if we were so hyped and pumped and the energy was like crazy. And, uh, and of course, for what happened after the fight as well. So what happened after the fight, it was just like, you know, <laughs> so it was like pumping. It was crazy, but check this out. So I have this video clip, you know, for, for uh, when the fight was just about to end and Connor was tapping. And uh, I will show it to you now. Man. <laughs> oh my God. As you can see, I'm getting pumped again, you know. I'm dressed, you know, to go to the gym right now. So, so but alhamdulillah, it was a great fight. Habib won, I'm really proud, you know. You see, to me, this wasn't just a fight. That's the thing. That's why we were also hyped up, you know. What Conor did long, way back before, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the fight. It was just like too much, you know, too much. And now people are talking. And now people are mainly talking about what happened after the fight, rather what happened than what happened way before the fight. You know, when Connor attacked the bus and he, you know, threw the dolly on the bus and cracked the window. And some, you know, a lot of uh, other, other people, a lot, a lot of other people were hurt. You know, some, some got glass in their eyes, etc., etc. So many things that happens. And after that, when the, when the fight was announced, of course, Conor McGregor is very famous for his crazy trash talk. So he was talking so much. And he was talking so much, he was crossing so many lines, you know, he talked about, you know, Khabib, he talk, he's talking about Islam, his religion, he's talking about, you know, he, he, he wanted to give him whiskey to drink whiskey and, and he, he talked about his father, he talked about his nation, he talked about Dagestan, he talked about Dagestani people, it, it was like, it was too much, you know, it was too, too, too much. And, um, but Alhamdulillah, you know, I've read a lot and, and saw a lot of videos saw a lot of videos and read a lot of comments, you know, on social media, and YouTube, etc. And you can see that people are talking about a lot of things, a lot of that. So I'm really happy that, you know, truth is out there. And uh, you could see clearly that you could see clearly what happened in the octagon, like in, in uh, you know, the Conor McGregor was the one who did the first punch, you know, at Khabib's team. And, um, and that's when everything also like escalated escalated and got really crazy so uh, you know so 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 they've been exposed basically so, and I, I really want to raise that awareness because I feel like you know in so much in so basically the other guys can do whatever they want UFC can do whatever they want Conor McGregor can say and do whatever he wants and get away with it including the bus, bus attack you know and uh, and when this something like this happens look what they're saying now so so I couldn't just stay quiet and, uh, you know, I want to raise that awareness as well. Because, again, this is not just a fight. This is way more than a fight. So, alhamdulillah, anyway, success, 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 success and victory for Khabib, my brother, Nurmagomedov. I'm really, really proud and really happy that he won this fight and in fashion. Alhamdulillah. So, talk later. Assalamu alaikum.